The infamous, the DJ, DJ A1. A1. What's going on? I'm trying to figure something out here. What's, what's this about? Ah! What's this and about? together we are Candy Coated Not Live. Shit, I almost pulled Wait. you. Well, we have a lot in store for you tonight because we are going to be talking about a couple of different things that could affect someone's sex drive and some things that could help improve it. Yes. We also have a couple of amazing guests with us today that yep. will give their opinions on today's yes. topic. Today, we got two comedians. This is going to be fun. No, no, no. And two, like, great comedians. Yes. Like, D-Lay is fucking hilarious. Yes. Like, crazy hilarious. And... Miss Pat is just yes. the best. So as he just said, we got funny guy, the most funny, the most hilarious, D-Lay, and one of Atlanta's favorite comedians and morning radio show hosts, Miss Pat, and actress. How y'all going to leave that out? How y'all leave that out? Miss Pat. Rabbit is here. Fast <laughs> Street Bottom, goddammit. She in the film. Yes. Make sure that you kick it with us for the whole show for a mm -hmm. chance to win some candy-coated cash as well. For our money making Mondays, you never know what's what we're gonna ask for your chance to win some some. So stay tuned. Yeah. Wait, they didn't win the money last week, right? No. no so no, this no. week, y'all know y'all didn't want giving out no money with tight Todd in this motherfucker. What's up, man? Y'all want that thousand dollars a day? We are giving out a rack. Yeah. A stizzack. Okay, so everybody, I need you. Y'all buy some stamps with that. Go yep. ahead, Ken. I need you to go right now to Twitter, <laughs> to Facebook, to whatever you got, and let everybody know to tune into Candy Coded Live right now. Follow us on Twitter, also, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Is Candy Coded Live? K A N D I K O A T E D Live. <laughs> okay. The girl I don't want know what she doing. To today. join the live, follow all our social pages. Because, you know, we be, it's, we got some funny stuff. Yeah, we going up, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. The more you tell, the more we sell. You dig what I'm saying? Exactly. Crazy. And, if, you know, as you know, this show is a very much show, a, very much so a show where we talk about sex and relationships. So we always like to let people know we promote safe, safe sex, sex, safe, safe sex, sex, safe, safe sex. sex. Fellas, wrap it up. Child Not support just, ain't got no name on it. Not just <laughs> fellas. We need everybody. No, you speak. You, you talk to the ladies. I talk to the fellas. I'm just trying to spit a little game. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I need y'all to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. Non-conforming. Wrap it up too. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. want everybody. Everybody. Wrap it here. up. All right. So listen. Oh, next day and follow us on YouTube. Yes, thank you. Because on YouTube is where you can watch the show from the previous week on Monday nights. YouTube so, is where you can watch the show every week. Oliver. There's enough up there now. Somebody asked me today, were they going to be able to see the show with Todd and I the, tonight at, on um, our, our YouTube page? Yes, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think we need to get an extra mic just for Oliver so that we can talk. I said Oliver that weeks ago, Oliver. We're going to work on that. <laughs> and what the fuck update, update, update. Oliver got his uh, butt done uh, a few weeks ago. And, and you still, still ain't sitting standing. down. You're still standing no, up. Next week, Wednesday, I'm like in the clear. Ooh, next I'm week, Wednesday. So you sleep on your stomach. Yeah. Yes. So listen. A one, you did not. You were not here last week to give me a surprise, a uh, porn video picture. <laughs> but Oliver Todd sent me showed a you one. Of uh, his new uh, booty. Uh, Woo! Uh, that thing Alice is sent to me. No, it's not out. You sent it to me. I sent you a photo for real of your booty. I don't remember this. Oh, sorry. Yes, definitely showed me how it's sitting. Yes. Was you high? No, you meant to sit there. You meant okay. to send that picture. No, I forgot. But the booty is sitting nice. nice. It's sitting nice. He said, oh, nice. Good. Remember I told you don't get it any bigger. Oh, yes, you did. Okay, I remember. I remember. I was nervous. Yeah. I was nervous. Well, it looks great. Oliver, you got to know when you're sitting, you, you did. <laughs> Listen. Oh, I see somebody saying happy birthday, Coco. Um, shout out to whoever mm. has a birthday right now. We're in Taurus season. Taurus season. 
I'm a yes, you know I'm a Taurus. Oh my God. Who, Bow. Whose booty is that? Now he done surprised me with a new the A1 had a new booty picture. Now her booty is B E E. Is she shaking it for you and everything? Oh my gosh. Every week. Every week. Is this a new one? What is that? What is that on top? She got a tramp stamp? Don't say that. It's still a tramp stamp. <laughs> that is definitely a tramp stamp. Is she a stripper? Tell the truth. Is she a stripper? No, I'm in love with a stripper. A <laughs> one <laughs> is such a dog. Okay, he's such a dog. So A one, please let us know what you've been up to for. Oh you. man, I've just I've just been in LA having a good old time. It's yeah, just a good old time, huh? It's a good old time, man. Uh-huh. Just, you know, out there with money long, you know, making mm-hmm. history, doing great things. Yeah, it was a good time, man. Ooh. Connecting with uh, that whole L.A. life is beautiful. Uh-huh. Just hanging out, you know, getting some gems, you know, learning some things. Okay, well, last week was a tough week for me, A1. Why? I had, um, I was finishing filming the a la carte series. I saw. And started a movie. Okay. And so on the day that I finished filming, uh-huh. it was the same. Well, it went into the next day that I had to start filming the next movie. Okay. So I didn't get off set until 1030 in the morning. Okay. So I was there from the day before all the way to 1030 the next morning filming. Mm-hmm. And I had to be on set for the new movie that day at like four o'clock. That's why we hustle. Yeah, this is why, this is why we hustle. Yes, yeah. so somebody I had somebody to, once told me that. I had to, <laughs> so I had to keep that energy up because you know you can't be acting mean to people. So I had to keep that energy up and keep going all the way to the next morning at three a.m. That's why we hustle. Oh, it was a tough one. That's why you make the big bucks, baby. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it, it went well. It's a new link for a, a, the Deadline article about the new season. We got a lot of um, India. Um, She's India Love. She's on our season, series this season. So yeah, different but no, India. I know who I know exactly who she is now. Different India. Yeah, and she's my gorgeous boy Kendall, too. He, you know, this is his second season. He yeah, oh, he's funny as shit on that show. Yes, well, he's, he's coming back funny. in season two. Now, is Kendall lady. still selling uh boy ass on this show? What? <laughs> you know, last season. Oh no, he was selling you companionship. Talking about- his, so, his his character on the show last year. Uh, well, yeah, he was doing some online situation. It was a lot. If you have not watched a la carte, you need to go to the All Black app and download that. And we you see, it's a lot of sex this season. Is it? Season season one, we had sex on the show. Uh-huh. But season two, so you I just, feel like it's a lot so of So you sex. just on there eating box and everything, ain't you? Oh, my goodness. To the lesbian ass. Don't you do it. What I can say is... You know who plays my ex girlfriend on the show? Who? Tim. She makes a guest appearance. Megan Good. No, which I wish, but she's one of the executive producers. I know. That's why I thought. Nah. Who? who I will fall, I'm a foul out. Who is? Tammy Rivera. That's not a bad piece of pussy to eat. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Who said that I was doing that to her? No. You had to tune in to see what was going on. Nah, nah. I'm just telling my own shit, huh? My own little fantasies. <laughs> yes, I see. But um, yeah, it's it's we have some really great people. Tammy Roman came on the show as as one of our guest cast. We have a we have some great um people who came on uh, this season. I stepped your little budget up over there, Alicarda. Huh? Hey, oh, hey, yeah, it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. I love it. You gotta watch it. If you watch season two, you definitely gonna love. I mean, season one, you'll definitely no. Love season season, two. season one was the shit, so I know season two is gonna be perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, have, do have they keep come... the storyline going? Well, wait. I guess we can't. You can't tell me. You know, some things changed. I mean, obviously, it's I want to know what happened with old girl who boyfriend who she caught cheating on her with the video. You got to tune in. Yeah, I want to know what happened to that little storyline. Kind of left us hanging last season, Megan. Hey, well, that's why they keep you coming back. <laughs> right, right, right. All right. And you so, still got the sex store? You still selling dicks on the show? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stray away from her real life, do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit close, a little something of that. Yeah. Some of that. Um, 
Hey, listen, if this is your first time logging on for Candy Coated Live, just know that this show is very risque. Okay? So yep. I don't want to hear some All of y'all risk. over here saying, oh my God, okay. I can't believe they said that. Nah, 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 nah. It's very wild. Okay? Well, apparently, Candy, you have fans that don't understand nothing about some of the shit that you do. What do you mean? Yeah, like they don't know that what, what Candy Coated Live is about. They think they're tuning in to, I don't know, church. church. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> they think Tammy Faye gonna be sitting up here or something. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't get it. No. We are not Creflo and Taffy Dollar guys. No. And you know, the thing that I found was so funny, I was talking, our guests are in the other room. And so I was, I was saying, hey, the um, comedian Miss Pat. And she was like, uh, y'all got the most non fucking person coming on here to talk about some fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be good. Well, I think. It's talking about, you know, that that's the concept. I mean, the, the, the topic for today Listen, is... Listen, I don't give a damn uh, what Miss Pat talk about. When I tell you I love Miss Pat, I don't care what she talk about. Mm-hmm. I, I watched Miss Pat show the first season. Mm-hmm. I said, there's no way they let this shit on I TV. I thought I thought I was looking at I, I thought I was looking at my too. grandma and my and my aunties. Yeah, I was shocked. Some of the stuff I, I couldn't believe this shit. I said it's the best shit going ever. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here's some. Um, we want to touch on a couple hot topics before we get into today's show. All right, you ready for A1? What's up? What we got? All right, let's start with YSL defense attorney has to write a 17 page essay about <laughs> the importance of professionalism or serve 20 days in county jail for the hit, for the response. That's it's honestly cap. cap. Recently in that courtroom. Yeah, but see, the Instagram, the police. What yeah, you mean? The, the internet, the police. He didn't know what he was saying. Until what? it went viral, uh-huh. and then somebody from the courts went back to the judge and was like, "Look at this! I'm oh. telling you, that 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 judge didn't know what cap meant. He didn't know he didn't know what he was saying. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't until it went viral and it was everywhere. Somebody else that works in the judge's office saw it, uh-huh. and it was a thing. And it's like, look, so wait, I didn't get to see um, what what the was the lawyer black or white? He was black, oh, of course. Yeah, no, if he would have been white, it wouldn't have been a thing. Yeah. No, I was saying that it was actually cap as in capitalism. All yeah, right. I didn't get it. So check this one out. I didn't get it. It's the thing. Young Miami confirms that she is no longer dating Diddy, but oh. they remain friends. Well, was she ever dating him or was he just pissing on her? Hello. What? <laughs> she said, and he said, they was on the show, they on her, on her podcast. On his network. Yeah, saying that, that she it. said, he, they, he, was, they go together real bad. We moving <laughs> forward. Singer Ashanti and rapper Nelly were seen holding hands at the Davis versus Garcia fight oh, in yeah. Vegas. They back fucking. Where Davis knocked Ryan out in the seventh round. Now, is this about the fight and the knockout, or is it about we're going to talk about Ashanti and Nelly? I'd rather talk about Ashanti and Nelly. We talk about Ashanti and Nelly. Yeah, yeah, damn the fight. Mm. Uh, now, Nelly, you know, I'm proud of him. Why? We well, supposed to go and get that back. Get that old thing back. Get that old thing back. She look good, too. She ain't missed a step. Oh, yeah, she been looking good. But yeah, I'm shocked fine. that she went back. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Nelly. I, I think he's a cool people. But I was just shocked after all these years. Ten years, they say. That's been a long time for her to circle back. She was pushing that for a long time. Jennifer went back to Ben and got married. That is true. Maybe J-Lo and Ben was inspiration. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But he Who got knows? it back. Mm-hmm. He better act right this time. Just shunts it without Nelly. I love you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Okay. Rapper designer charged with indecent exposure after exposing himself to a flight attendant. The yeah, rapper told it. reporters that he has been struggling mentally for the past few months and that he will ad- be admitting himself to a facility to get some help. Now, do you think that's Cap? Or do you think that's... He's on cocaine. <laughs> oh, oh, Allegedly. Oh. Allegedly. 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 He may be. I don't know. What? You talking about that's cap? I mean, the man pulling his dick out on the flight. What else? He, uh, first I ain't never had he a was drink. In first class? I ain't never had a drink on Delta ever made me want to pull my dick out on a flight attendant. And that's really a big of you. Because yeah, <laughs> I'm shocked you done pulled your dick out on the plane. I said for a flight attendant. Oh, okay. Because I'm sure you done pulled your dick oh, yeah, out. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. No, nah, I done got hella throat on the flight before. I got my dick sucked in behind you once. What? By who? Why the fuck would I tell you that? Uh, so you can fucking tell the world. 
First of all, I don't tell everything. You you don't tell the names, but you'll tell some shit. Candy loved it. You know what? I was I was doing just fine in LA last Monday without people just, you know, putting me out there. Well, I'm sure you missed us because you called in, so don't even try it. I did call in, didn't I? I'll all be right. I'll be speaking to HR about that call in later on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's Esther, say, I hope you got something for me. All I right. personally feel like he just said that so that he won't get, you know, get in trouble or won't get canceled. Like, first of all, sir, you pulled your dick out. Your mental health did not yeah, you just pulled your dick out. You said so he won't get canceled. No, I mean that's so he won't get in trouble. Like, I don't oh, know if they gonna oh, press I'm charges or whatever. Like he can be like It oh, was I was mentally I was unstable. mentally unstable. Oh, my dick just fell out. It's chemical. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dick out. Ah! <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Um, judge gives Cardi B permission to begin seizing Tasha K's property. What? Big A judge man. has granted Cardi B the right to begin seizing Tasha K's property in efforts to satisfy Damn. the four million dollar judgment she won in her defamation lawsuit a suit against the blogger. Tasha, let me talk to what? you. Let me talk to you, Tasha. I know you. I know you might be watching. You might be listening, to Tasha. Tasha, start moving like a dope boy. Don't get, don't have nothing in your name. <laughs> we already know she's doing that already. I'm don't, sure. yeah, she probably, you're right. So never mind, Tasha, you already know what you're doing. She probably should put all titles in her Everything. mom's name, her baby daddy name, her the, husband uh, name. No, no, it can't be in the husband because they might go after the husband next. Oh, okay, against their mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a, get a bank account with your child. <laughs> Hopefully you got one that's under 18. I'm telling you something I know, not something I think. Yes. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Somebody who knows how to dodge the system. Well, you go ahead. Right along, A1. That is right up your alley. All right. <laughs> okay, Rock Mount, North Carolina. A teacher and a student were both charged with assault after the viral video of an altercation. The video appeared to show the student confronting the teacher with the two of them ending up in a fight on the floor of the classroom. The teacher had a big old ass. No draws. Now, was it that she had no draws? I think she on, had a thong. She had on a thong and the I think, yeah, yeah, her ass just swallowed it up. up. Yeah, I think her ass swallowed yeah. up the thong. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she thought she was finna get into a fight, and just because she a teacher, don't mean she got to wear bloomers to school. Well, not full bloomers, no. Yeah. Now, this is what I will you know. say. My cousins had a huge debate on our cousin group chat about this very conversation. Is she in the chat? Yes, my cousin. What your country ass had to say? (laughs) Speak up. Speak up. The people can't hear you. You're going to get into some adult business. All right. Yeah, I'm with that. All right, so you said something good. All right, step back. Yeah, I I definitely <laughs> think that the kid was wrong. In the, the kid situation. was super wrong. And, uh, but what I said in the group chat was I definitely feel like the, the teacher would have had to, you know, um, do what she had to do to protect herself. And, as, you know, if I was in her situation, I would have did the same thing. But as a parent, I definitely would have caught her in the alleyway and whooped her ass afterwards. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> yeah. The, even if my kid was wrong, I still would have been. It would have been on site. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 I definitely want to sit my sister them up there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. yeah it no. It would have. It would have. It would have went, went down. It would have went down. <laughs> but I do think that these kids are just different now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but that kid was definitely wrong. That was not cool. Let's get a check. Let's ask some of the people in the call. Let's get open up this call line. Come on, call line. Where y'all at? Come on, it's time for you to make up. Oh, here's Let the them first. come in. Let let's, them roll in. Let's let's go ahead. The first first person. First person on our call. Savvy Savielli. DJ, please. We've sent you an invite. Pick up the phone. Up on a request line. Okay. What's up with you, Cass? You Un- did mute, please. Unmute, unmute, unmute. Here we go. How do I do that? What's Hello? up? How are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, I've been, listen, I've been watching you for years. I grew up watching you. I'm Andy. probably about the same age as Riley. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love you, Candy. I genuinely do. I genuinely do. You are my inspiration. Well, thank you. Have you been watching the show since the beginning? Yes, I even had to catch up because I was a little young, but 
I caught back up and then I was like, okay. And I've been watching it ever since. Oh, no, no, no. I mean today, the, today's episode. But we appreciate you oh, watching yes, uh, yes, Candy yes, Coated yes, Nights yes, and all yes, that yes. shit too. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I've been here since the beginning. Thank you. Because you know today the Candy Coated Cash is going to be $1,000 because ones. they didn't win last week. Because Ty Ty was here hanging about that. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I was like, how did both of y'all miss out on that chance to get 500 and I got to roll over? It's mm-hmm. rolling over. It's rolling over today. Rolling but over like I a just, hooker. I want to remind everybody that basically we will be asking questions about something from the show. Um, it's going to be four different questions because we got two guests and there's two of us. So it's four of us. Each person gets to ask, ask a question. So I am telling everybody to pay attention. Pay attention. Then. Pay attention. So, like, okay, let me ask you your opinion on something. Um, how do we say your name? What city are you from? Eli, Eli, Eli. I'm from Florida. Okay, oh, Eli. Oh, savvy Eli. Eli from Florida. So check this out. Um, today's topic is unmatched um, sex drives. So, um, have you ever been in yeah. a situation or dated someone? Well, I mean, you young. So, your sex drive should be high. Well, I'm actually... Well, see, that's the thing. I'm kind of in this situation now with the person I'm in. Because they're, like, a good seven years older than me. Ooh. And so... But, like, they have a higher sex drive than me. Because what? I kind of did my low, low... I did I did my whole little sex drive thing back in, like, high school. And I'm five years out of high school, so it was like I was kind of like hoeing around in high school. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you was hiding ass, huh? I mean, you still, oh. you supposed to still be. Uh, I mean, you 20s, right? Well, Are you 21? I'm 21. Yeah, 22 in June. 21. You should still be in your prime. I mean, well, it goes up and down. It goes up and down. I think it also goes. It just goes up and down, like with my depression, I guess. Oh. Cause it's like when I'm like not in the mood, when I'm like not in the mood mentally, I'm not in the mood physically. But then right. when I'm like in happy spirits and everything, I'll be like, oh, okay, let's okay. see what's up. <laughs> All right, well, we wishing you happy spirits, and I wish you hope you hopefully you be able to listen so you can have a chance to win that thousand dollars to keep you in happy spirits. <laughs> One time, shout out to you, Thanks Eli. For it, it. We gonna fuck with you. Love, keep watching, keep listening. Bye bye. All right, so let's take one moment. We're gonna take another caller. Let's see. She she, we're sending you an invite. She she, pick up the fucking phone. She she, accept your invites. And I ain't gonna give y'all a hard time about unmuting because that shit was hard to find. What? When I when I called her, I was like, how do y'all mute this shit? All right, you gotta unmute she she. I just told you don't get them fuck a hard time. Now they're gonna get to it. Now you hung up on all those people. Oh, there she is. How you doing? You see what I'm saying? It, it's, it's first after you get the request, then you gotta go out, then you gotta go back in, then it's the uh, Okay, so she she, what city are you calling from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. What's up with you? All right, so okay. today's topic is unmatched sex drives. Have you ever been in a situation or dated somebody where it was not equally yoked with the sex? Yes. I'm going through that right now, too. You are? Okay. Are you the yeah. one with the the high sex drive or low sex drive? The high. I'm oh, you trying to hit something. And they not, they not giving it to you? Yeah, they not. Okay. So mm. did you talk it, about it? Did you say something? Yes. Yeah. But it's a couple of other things that's hindering him as well. His dick don't get hard. No, well, it's medically. Medically. Got, What's yes. wrong with him? High blood pressure. Is he yeah, fucking? Like, his, get to the point, girl. Yeah, Come on, shit. High huh? High blood pressure, thyroid problem. High oh, blood pressure, thyroid. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. what she's saying is a one. Some people. You know, they have a medical reason why they can't hit it or can't get it more often. So you're saying his dick don't get hard. I'm I'm missing it. Sounds like it. Well, 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 he can pop a dick pill, a honey pack or something. Come on. If you say. Yeah. If you, oh, I'm not old enough to know shit about no blood pressure and shit. You might want to <laughs> cut back on that liquor so you don't be that guy. Oh, well. Right. <laughs> Cut back on well, that liquor I don't want to be a, well, well, well god damn it I'm drinking right now And I plan on hitting Something this evening So I'm <laughs> 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 Shit <laughs> Alright well You should well, be taking it Well what you So what do you do baby You go You hit yourself on the side No I don't I just 
bear with it. You I've just been bear with, with it. it for a while. Now. So you don't even play with your pussy on the side? Yeah. yeah. I don't. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, you should go to bedroomcandy.com and get you some help. And yeah. also, just because his love below doesn't work, the love up top should. So tell him to use those lips. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for calling. All right, All right baby. Mm. Hi, yeah, yeah. Four. Candy right. sell dicks. Now, y'all go buy some. Yes. Let's, that's, that's a definite. You need to do that. Is it time to pop this motherfucker off? Let's yes, get to it. Yes, I am so excited. Me too, Mike. Because our first guest is about to come and sit down with us. Yes, man. She funny. She funny by mistake. Okay. Well, our first guest is comedian, morning morning show radio host, and uh, wait, morning show radio host, radio host on V103. Yes. And star of BET Plus show, The Miss Pet show. show. Let's welcome Miss Pet. Come on, can you turn? Pull that mic. Y'all here behind now somebody's shit. Nigga, I got this shit. Well, you right. Where this anxious nigga from? You right. <laughs> hey, look. I mean, black man. <laughs> look, I'm going to tell you a funny story about Miss Pat, right? So, I got on the flight one time, and Miss Pat was sitting in front of me. But when I got on the flight, I saw her. Mm -hmm. And I was excited because, you know, I love you. I'm a fan of yours, right? Oh, I remember this. And I get on the flight. I'm like, oh, shit, Miss Pat, South Street Bottom. I get to go, right? She say, God damn, niggas. Don't let all the white folk know you just got the money. Sit down. <laughs> I, I died. <laughs> that shit was so funny. Then when we get off the flight, she say, I ain't mean to be rude, but I'm not a morning person. You was just loud as hell. <laughs> so, damn. Right. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? What's we up? Good. How you been? I'm trying to, I'm about to take this shit off. I'm hot for this. <laughs> How you been doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> What's up with you? I, 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 I'm, I'm invited to a podcast and I don't do half the things y'all say no more. <laughs> no more? Why not? I, I've been, uh, I started in the sixth grade, so that part of my life is retired. Oh, Damn. How long have you been married, Miss Pat? 31 years. 31 You've been married for 31 years? years? Yeah. I, I only been here 38. I ain't asked you that. <laughs> I ain't your mom. <laughs> okay, so tell me. I ain't this. saying shit up the rest of the time. How, um, how do you and your husband keep the relationship alive if y'all ain't doing nothing? We do it. We fall asleep at 6.30. Okay. For real? Yeah. We be tired. 6.30 for real? Yeah, I'm sleeping now. <laughs> Why she get up early? I'm ready to go to bed now. <laughs> she gets up well, early in the morning. Well, when you get, when you been married a long time, it ain't about sex. It's conversation, listening to each other, pass gas. You know, sex is <laughs> in the beginning. That's that, you know, that's you young people that's new stuff. Love. You know, I, I've been, I had a kid in elementary school, so I'm so past the stuff, you know, and everything on the elevator now, you know, they sucking dick from a pole. I don't do all that. Back in the day, it was just simply on your knees. And then you didn't have to take two knees, just one knee. <laughs> and now, now motherfucker wants you on both knees with a banana in your ear. So it's just too much to sex. Yeah, well, I guess this is... that is Now, that's a good question. You know, when it's like so many things have changed of what is... Evolved. ...acceptable or what's hot or what's not in the bedroom. Because I know back in the day, a lot of black girls used to be like, oh, I don't suck dick. I don't yeah. suck dick. And that was like early 90s, 90s, you know. But then you did, now, but you didn't tell nobody. Yeah, if mm. they did, they wasn't saying nothing, right? You didn't tell but nobody. But now it's like everybody out in the open, sucking, they, taking it up this way, that way, and doing whatever, they, spitting in the mouth. Now, spitting in the mouth is one I that what is I know in some the mouth? of my friends. Spit in the bitch of, mouth. Who? What? Spit in, in, in the mouth. a person's mouth. Like open your Why mouth. Why would you let so somebody? Like, you know how when you kissing? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Same as is you riding them, right? That's a sex move. Yeah. It ain't a move. Like, it's just yeah, an act. It's, it's just an act. Like you spit in the other person's mouth. That is the nastiest shit. <laughs> Who is out here letting y'all spit in their mouth? There's a lot of people doing you, it, especially in uh, the younger the young 20s folk. and 30s. You know what I thought? Them 30s was, and 20s, they out the chance. I thought spitting in the mouth was like getting the penis wet. No. You mm -hmm. literally let somebody spit in your yeah, mouth? Yeah, like Drew. See, I had learned about this a long time ago. See, it's not really a my, my little, some people in my generation do it, some people don't. But what had happened was, before I had got with Ty, you know, I've been married nine years now, but before we she got together. A disclaimer. I guess I got a, you know, it was it was a minute ago. It was like my early 30s, I would say. Okay. Right? Somebody spit in your mouth candy. 
She no, he asked me to spit in his mouth. The the guy was there, but he was younger than me. So he was like up on some some stuff that the guys that I had normal because I always used to date older. But this particular time I was dating somebody younger. And he was like, you know what we was doing? He was like, spit in my mouth, spit in my mouth. Did you like, spit in his mouth? You know Girl, she spit in his mouth. I did, but I did it bad too. I was like, I said, huh? He was like, spit in my mouth, spit in my mouth. I was like, Spit in your mouth. He's like spitting him, spit in my mouth. Now I'm I'm on top of I'm on top, right? So I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never I didn't know what he meant. I was like, what type of spit in your wait, mouth? Wait, if I find this video, do you want do, me to show you? No, well, do they listen. swallow it when you spit in the mouth? No, There's a so video on what Instagram. What he meant was, so afterwards, he was like, next time I tell you spit in my mouth, I mean like in a sexy way. So he meant he wanted me to like drool and let it like drool down mm. like he ain't mean like plop, plop, you know <laughs> like you know that was like, that's like when i heard in chicago for them to keep you from for, for them to make you say you was raped in jail and that they spitting in the men booty hole what so they put your dna in you in jail and chicago is a big thing so if they, they like spit in his booty because if you say you spit in your booty you got to call home to your mom your family say well your family member were raped even though he wasn't raped, it was just DNA change. So that's what they do in Chicago. They spit in the inmate's booty hole to say they was raped. <laughs> but what Wait, does that do? What? You try, if I spit in your booty hole, my DNA is in your booty hole. Well, I'm going to say, if you spit in my booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was like, I'm going to spit in your ass. Cool. All right. <laughs> 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 I've never heard of spit in the mouth. Yes. So, I'm trying to anyway, find the pet this uh, video. So. Yeah, so that was it was a lesson learned for me. So from that point on, I was like, okay, I was down with it at that point. I was ready to spin in everybody's mouth. No, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Not uh, everybody. But see, that's, I have spit in a couple too much for me. I have spit in a couple miles. <laughs> so have I, Candy. So have I. Yes, I know you have because you still in your, you know, you're in your 30s. You're in your 30s. Sometimes you got to spit in the mouth and a pussy. I mean, hey, it, man. It, it all goes hand in hand. But that's what, I mean, the point is. Miss Pat, don't come on here judging you know, me. Like, he's such a thug person. He look like he punch people while he having sex with. I don't slap the shit out of bitch before. No, I mean they wanted it. They asked for it. Now shit. Now let's understand what we said. Miss Pat, okay, don't come on. We don't put up with abuse around. No, I, now you know I don't hit on women. But if they ask in me in the to, bedroom, yeah, in the bedroom, they they want to be choked a, a little love tap. Now I'm going to oblige. <laughs> who, who am I to not give them what they want, Candy? <laughs> I cannot. Huh? Yeah, oh, woman want to be slapped. Geez. Every time she got slapped, she squirt. What? Who squirt? Oh, okay. Okay, so let me ask you something, Miss Pat. And if I said something that, is, that you don't agree with, you ain't got to answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but my question is, y'all been married for 30 years. When did the sex slow down? When we got fat. <laughs> 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 Is your husband real name Terry? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell? What that's TV. <laughs> I know. That, I, you know. Sometimes people just really. You well, know. you know what? I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. I grew up in the West End, like in the street, selling drugs, all kind of crazy stuff. My husband grew up in a Christian household. No so shit. We. I lost my virginity when I was twelve. He lost his when he was in his twenty. So my husband never came into a relationship where he just pounded. You know, okay. I dealt with another crazy motherfucker in the street that sex all the time. That way he had like 20 some kids. Mm. My husband was more about the conversation and the household and stuff like that. Sex has never been a big deal for him. Okay. Mm. So, okay. so you married a PK? What's that? Preacher's, Preacher's kid. kid. No, his mama just went to church. Oh, she just in the church. She was in the church. church. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, he didn't come from that where vagina was everything. Mm. Gotcha. You know, he, he, he was taught. Like, he was in the word. He would just work, you know, how you, he would just, you know, back in those days, we would say Elsa Lane, because if, if uh -huh. they ain't trying to jump you, they either lame or they was gay. Those were uh -huh. the two things. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with this man? He ain't asked me for no sex. But he had got me an apartment and we moved in together. So I said, well, he ain't too gay. I guess he just, <laughs> I guess he just being nice because we moved in together before we had sex. Oh, oh you had you never did? had a gentleman before that? I had never had a gentleman before. What a job. What a credit card. Ooh. So he was, uh, he, he was totally different from what I was used to. You was uh, used to the guy yeah. from the neighborhood. Yeah, I was used to that guy where, you know, you wait your turn. Okay, he got her on Monday, her on Tuesday, and he come back around to you. But it wasn't mm. with, you know, sex has never been like a big thing. And I'm definitely not going to spit in his mouth 
And <laughs> I, I've never used toys. Never? What? Never? No. Never. No, I've never used it. So I'm telling you, my pet still ain't going to use it if we give it to her now. I'm too big to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> never. I'd be at the toot over my kids' So you don't fight. even know what a vibrator feel like. <laughs> Pull the dick at your mom. <laughs> so you don't even know what a vibrator feel like. Uh-uh, I never use a vibrator. Ever. Ever. Like, not to stick in, just sit on the outside. I never use a vibrator. Oh, wow. But you, I mean, clearly you've seen them. I've seen them. My daughter gave. She suck them all the time. <laughs> is that your daughter right here? No. I no, no, no. She ran out to go suck she, some. This is the fabulous Yeah, that's Queen. She was What's like, up, let's be clear. I'm not her daughter. <laughs> yeah. Where you from? You from Atlanta? Yeah. What part of Atlanta are you from? Now, she be using vibrators. No, she look like she might play with some shit. Oh, she play with everything. Yeah, with she be trying to get me to play with stuff, yeah. but I won't do it. <laughs> she try to get me to play with some yeah, stuff. Yeah, she be trying. You like she gonna tell me one time. She's like, you gotta suck dick with ice in your mouth. And then I tried, and that ice went down my throat. <laughs> You're not choking and you shit. Can't wear ice in your mouth. <laughs> okay, why do you do it with ice? Uh, I guess you want to dig. I know how we do it with. I do it I'm with the say, you never... calm drop. See, I, I like the ice they better than the halls. Why really? The halls give you the tingling yeah. sensation. Yeah. Nah, yeah, the ice is better. Ice, I've ice never is heard of halls calm drop. Ice drops. is better than Candy halls. Halls tingle. I like. The That's tingle. what I'm saying. That tingling feeling ain't always good. I love it. So you, you, okay, wait a minute. So you give, so you suck dick with halls in your mouth? Candy, talk to candy. She, yeah, she, halls. She so the dick got a cold? We got a product, actually, <laughs> The dick got a cold. <laughs> no, it's, it gives you, you know, that menthol, it, it gives you that tingling when you suck it, when you try to... You know, I ain't never throat. suck the dick that tingle. No, you make the dick tingle when you put the hauls in your mouth. It gives a tingling sensation. No. Or if they put it in their mouth when they go like down it. on you... I don't want my click tingling. Girl, you missing out, Miss Pat. <laughs> Me pet Miss old school as hell. Miss pet old school and missing out on all the I, new I'm school 51. love. I'm 51. I mean, I, I come from a place, you, you know, people be running around want to have sex for 10 minutes. I be like, two pumps, niggas, and I got something to do. Get off of me. That's because <laughs> you ain't getting the good good out of I it. mean, and I'm not, I mean, I don't want my legs in the air. You know, I, sh I, I okay, don't do Okay, what's your favorite position? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Pat, Pat, Pat talk like she used to say dope. Listen, I like, see Miss T. Let me get to it and let me go and go. I don't know why y'all got to do all of that. Why Look, not, Miss Pat? Look, I'm reading the comments. At Miss T. Peach, y'all says, I've used halls, ice, fruit roll-up, etc. My friend used to use fruit roll-ups when she said What the fruit roll-ups for? It ain't do nothing but make Wrap it the taste dick. You can't do that when she you... She used to didn't like it, so she wanted to use it for the taste. And it just... I'm like, girl... But you my my thing is for roll up y'all gonna goddamn fuck up. around and get the goddamn blood, bacteria how, infection. No, your how, your your diabetes gonna fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not at all. Yes, yes. All I, right. So, that's nasty. Uh, uh, I, so I guess you put whipped cream and stuff on you too, huh? Hey, yeah. man, I tried it all. Okay, yeah. let's see. This motherfucker wild. Wait, I'm wild. I know you're not talking. Not in front of Miss Pat now, Candy. Shit. I'm supposed to be the good one today. Are you really? She's wild, you know. Listen, I want to I'm bring out, guy. while we talking about all this stuff, I want to bring out our other guests as well. Our next guest <laughs> is an amazing comedian and viral TikToker. Um, let's welcome the amazing, hilarious, most funny, Delay. Delay, come on in here. Come through. What's up? Hey, now, how what? the fuck? What's happening? What's up? How we get Delay and Miss Pat at the same time? We were blessed today. It's a blessing. We were good blessed. Good gosh, so Marlon. We we I can guarantee you we totally opposite. <laughs> I know that's gonna make it so good. All right, delay. I got that church pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he so, got that old after hour dick, you know. Yeah, yeah, be okay, <laughs> so today's topic is unmatched sex drives. Mm. Mm. So mm. you are currently involved. Involved. I'm married. Okay, mm -hmm. you know some people don't like to tell. Right, 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 right. I just want. Right. To hear I was trying to save it. you for two seconds. I can't hide. <laughs> you know. I, can't hide I, I was trying to, you know, mind. I won't mind. I want you to know. I got that. Okay, good. So mm -hmm. how long you been married? Uh, May twelfth will be a year. Oh, 
Oh, oh y'all yeah. Still oh, fighting okay. Y'all yeah. still fucking a lot. Yeah, oh, Miss Pat go to bed. Yeah. Miss Pat go to bed. I didn't say I didn't do that. I just say it ain't no lot. Yeah, right. I'm sure the shit gonna slow up. It ain't gonna stay at this pace. It's gonna stop at Sorry. some point. It's gonna slow up. A little yeah, bit. cause your penis gonna fall and she ain't gonna be interested. Nah, my <laughs> dick, my dick ain't gonna go down. Everybody did. Uh, that. That's your daddy. <laughs> Doctor Sebi, <laughs> Doctor Sebi, Dick never went down. Yeah. I'm taking his trick. Doctor Sebi, Doctor Sebi was just selling y'all them goddamn pills. No, they were That nigga Dick was dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, you all men did fall. So okay. yeah, I, it I, might not fall today. It might not fall in ten years. But one day you gonna wake up that motherfucker. You gonna get up and your dick gonna still be in retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Miss Pat been married 30 years. You've been married one year. So y'all on the very opposite ends of the uh, scope. Okay, with that being said, um, you know, you Miss Pat, you say you don't have sex that often. So about how often would you say? Mm, twice a month, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's better than young, I thought you were gonna say. Twice, twice a month. Pain. Twice a month. You the said first twice. and the fifteenth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Military pay. Right. I'm busy. And you are on a. If you had to give a schedule of events, about how often do y'all? Get? I throw dick. Uh, you said you throw dick. I throw dick. Boy, I thought you said you suck dick. I was like, what you uh, say? You got uh, you throw it. Okay, you throw and suck don't even uh, go together. Well, throw I can't is, heal. I've been well, shot a couple uh, probably times. Probably about <laughs> <laughs> about five days out the week. Probably about five three, days out the week. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody nothing in me five days a week. Fuck that shit. Dishes don't work no more. Ah! I, that shit ain't oh, not... that's, that's a great thing. Another thing, fellas, pull that thing out. Don't just drop all that nothing all the time. Yeah, you ain't pull nobody shit out. nothing really? in me. Yeah, don't no, just nut in all it, the time. It should be unlawful wow. to be nutted in five days a week. You think? I don't know. Candy so, sound like candy. Sound like candy. Y'all know. Speak for yourself. I don't know. I'm no, candy candy begin. That's de- nasty. I mean, when you're married, candy begin dropped off on. If you were, if I wasn't married, I would probably say that because you know some of these guys when they ain't married, they be dating more than one person, and that's how you end up with uh, bacteria vaginosis. B- you know? So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they be throwing but, your pH off. Yeah. But it still mm-hmm. got whatever go up gotta come down. Candy. It gotta come at you. Candy. Yeah, but don't it roll down later. I won't catch that shit in my underwear, Candy. It be staining my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that thing a good wash yeah. out there. Good wash. Yeah. A good then. wash don't help, nigga, when he don't skid it all the way past your uterine cavity. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta wait that motherfucker crawl back down two weeks later. I ain't walking around with that fish sandwich pussy. <laughs> oh, not the fish sandwich. Not the fish nah, sandwich. Nah, ain't nobody nothing to me that many times. You better nut on your mama couch. You, I'm 51 years old. I don't want all that up in me. Okay, okay. No. I don't right. like, like it's furniture. I don't want all that up in me. Yeah. It's just, it's your man. Okay, so let me ask you this. Have you ever, prior to your current relationship, marriage, mm-hmm. prior to this, have you ever been in a relationship where it was unequally yoked sexually? Uh, No, let me tell you the problem with that. This is just my thoughts on it. Men, say what you want off the rip. So midway through, you can't be, you know, I don't, I didn't know you was into it. Now, if you was trying to start something later on, the problem is guys don't be upfront about what it is they want. If you like to do nasty shit, be like, hey, I like to do nasty shit up front. Say it. Don't wait six months in and be like, hey, I want to put that little sticky shit that they put on the candy apples at the fair. I want to put it on your back. <laughs> no, I, I, I ain't even into that. But if you started off telling them what it is, now you got grounds to say, hey, listen, I told you from the beginning. Mm. What it Are you nasty? You look nasty. What that look like? You just look mad. What that you look like, like you, blow, you like you blow bubbles in big bitches' pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you blow bubbles in big bitches' pussy. <laughs> 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 you I look nasty, it. D-Lay. Really? You, you look bubbles? like you like stick your toes in bitches. Ah, mm, 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 um, mm. I, I tried it before. I tried a toe before. I told you. I tried I told a big toe. You. Okay, have big... you ever? You did put you put a toe in. I was just. I was. She was already down there. I mean, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> she already down there. Okay, what about? It? We was talking about the spit in your mouth thing. Have you ever done that? Uh. Don't spit in my mouth. Don't spit in my mouth. I did it before because it was by request. I didn't just start spitting. I've right. never heard of it. Was about, yeah, these women are nasty out here. Yeah, they. Um, I had a woman that that, that requested that. It turned on the spitting up. 
But yeah. how do spitting in your mouth open turn up. you on? Open up. I wish you would. I wish you would. What you do if your husband spit will, on you? I, oh, I it thought just, you were talking about, ain't nobody spitting on me. I don't want no lotion on me. I get damn. out of the shower and get in the bed ashy. That's how dry I am. <laughs> dry. You know, my butt dry. dust going to come off. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody doing that freaky mess to me. You ain't sticking no penis in my ears. You ain't, I'm not doing all that kind of stuff. You ain't slapping me in my face with no penis. I'm old school. I'm the 72 gotcha. baby. Two pumps, we going, we're going to sleep. Wait, did you just say you a 72 baby? Yeah, but I started in elementary school, so sex was just in the <laughs> graveyard. Oh, that you much know. older than me. Yeah, sex was in the graveyard. But, but, but sex back then, the, the best, was, well, the, the most popular position back in those days was the 69. If you mm-hmm. did the 69, that was like that was everything. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then from the back, that was doing it there, boy. <laughs> That was it. Now they got all this new shit. Not Hello, me. copper spitting in your mouth, punching the eye, choking. Yeah, bitches sucking dick teeth. from the back now, you know. You said doing what? Sucking dick from the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How you... Don't so, do it. Don't suck my dick traditionally. I don't... I don't, <laughs> don't be behind. What you doing back there sucking dick? I mean... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, guys. Don't knock it till you try it. I never tried it, but I'm just... Wor- uh, you first there? of all, it got to be long enough to do... I was about to say, what if, you get, what if you got somebody and they dick stop at their nut? Now you just head button a nigga. <laughs> 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 That ain't that's yeah. sucking dick in the middle. <laughs> Cause it, everybody penis, everybody dick don't pass they nuts. You know what I'm saying? You know you fuck around, you be done lick the booty hole because his dick, his dick don't that got might, short, that might be got that might be the point. Yeah. yeah, they be back there. Oh, they be trying to trick you, say sex on the butt, butt knowing they won't reach past the No, 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 no. Sometimes you, no, that's the thing. Like you supposed to suck dick from the back, let it be each other. If it's long shit. enough and it goes back, it's supposed to actually pull the nerves down to the head, you know, better, apparently. I, I don't know. Barely. That's what I've been told. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> and then, you know, as the. <laughs> <laughs> As you're pulling it back, you know, you sucking it back, it's like giving them some extra sensitivity and the mm. whole thought of it, you know, it, it, it has their brain, they, oh, yeah, it'd be fucked up. Yeah. That's difficult. I got a curve. So if, if it happened to me, you got to suck my dick from the back off the left thigh because it, <laughs> it's, it's curved. There's some chicks out there to break your curve. Off the a lot left. Of, a lot break the curve. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't <laughs> shake it. Don't break it. <laughs> Don't break the goddamn curve. What are we, I want to enjoy this shit. I don't want this to be yeah, painful. Yeah. Okay, so the curve is 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 actually works in most people's favor. Congratulations to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Not a curtsy. I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, they yeah. gonna do it in the car can. They're on the way out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they, it's 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 a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Y'all have me cracking up. Okay, huh? Ooh, I have some tricks and tips that I would like to share with Let's you guys. Let's get to it. Candy's Tips and Tricks and Advice is a segment of the show where we answer questions from our audience that may need a little sex and relationship advice. Mm. If there's anything that you want to ask me or A1, please send your questions to producers at candycoatedlive.com for the chance for us to read your comment live on the show. You can leave your name so that we can shout you out during the show or stay anonymous. Just write in so we can see what's on our listeners' minds. So this is this week's question. Mm Mm-hmm. Hello, Candy and A1. I'm going to get right to the point. Me and my wife have been married for three years now, and we have a little to no sex. She told me that her sex drive was low in the beginning, but I thought I could change that by maybe adding toys and asking her what she likes. Well, it has not changed, and I want to fuck. (laughs) It's to the point that I want to dibble-dabble outside of the relationship or ask her if we can add another partner to our bedroom. Please tell me what I should do. First of all, you shouldn't have took your wife to Tars or Us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Why you say that? He brought toys in the bedroom. These are some sex toys. Sex yeah. toys. He's trying to spice it up. So you that's the spice. But she it told up. him off the rip, hey, I got a low sex I, drive. Off the rip. Don't come in here with all that big dick energy. <laughs> Wanna fuck five days a week, uh-huh. dropping five loads of nut off of me. I don't want that. I got a low sex drive. He should have then and said, hey, listen, are you cool with me substituting that pussy in? <laughs> Meaning another partner? If you don't want to do it, you got to usher some other ass in there. 
Ooh. That's just a proposal. I mean, okay, so how would you that. feel about that, um, Miss Pat? How would you feel about the substitute pussy? You want to have sex more often, but you know, you weren't really trying to do that. You, you better, wanted to on, step better, outside of marriage, mm-hmm. you better go get a meal. What you mean? Go. You better go to a restaurant. You. I ain't bringing. No, I'm not. I, I'm definitely not doing See, no. Miss Pat will tell you well, go no, take well, a what nap. If he just go take a nap. Do, what if he just wanted to have somebody that he able to go a little extra. hook up with every night? Uh, no, no. With all these, I had crabs and gone to real. I know oh. what it feel like. You are not say, <laughs> no. And they got this new shit out here that behind it gone to real. I don't want none of that shit. My my, my pussy can't her take no STDs. <laughs> okay, okay. No. I mean, if you boy, you better go back there and play with yourself like you did in elementary. Well, would you be willing to suck him off more? Hmm. I got, or, or, or hand job at minimum. I got vertigo. God damn, she got excuse for everything. <laughs> you got too many uh, excuses. Excuse 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 excuse. I got vertigo. I, I can't. I, I don't know. I mean, you young girls do that. I, ma'am, you my age. Tell them we ain't sucking dick like that. You suck. Esther sucking dick. Esther sucking suck suck dick, baby. I had somebody named Elsa sucking suck dick. dick. Right. If, <laughs> <laughs> that's her daughter. That's her daughter. That's her daughter. Oh, that's oh, your mama. Damn, she said that's she was about dick. to say something, but I can't yeah. say it while your daughter is there. Why don't you go on back there and say that? Go on to the back. Go on to the back. Your mama. Now, your mama. now, Esther, tell us about she you and this dick sucking you got going on. I don't really on. want to say what I want to say. Your mama, your mama your is mama sucking the neighbor dick. Then, okay? Esther, you don't think she ain't. Look at her. Grown with her dick sucking. Uh-huh, I sucked it. She, Esther, you got something <laughs> this weekend? Uh-huh, I sucked it. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Esther, you got something this weekend. How was it? It was good. Did you know him? Good. You didn't see that photo shoot your mama did? I knew she was going to get some dick out there. <laughs> Don't play Mr. Charlie. Mr. Mr. Charlie is just a man. man. <laughs> okay, yeah. wait. Wait, ask that. Yeah, they don't say I'm sucking dick with no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't got no teeth? I'm sucking dick with no teeth. Okay. She reading the comments. She reading the, she reading the chat. <laughs> and now Elsa got all the teeth. You Elsa. know Elsa suck that But candy. I do have a cousin who pulls her teeth out and suck dick? She says that she suck dick better than most, but when she don't have her teeth, pull them yes. out. I don't want to see you pull them. Oh you, no, damn! Yeah, pull your teeth out. You gotta know who I'm talking about. You better shut up. Better not say nothing. <laughs> I, I know who you better tell us. We that's what she dick on said camera. that the men. Love I know who she's talking about. Too. I would say this: if Miss Elsa is sucking dick, she good at it. She got a Jerry Curl. When that time you seen being with Jerry? <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> all that, all that caffeine curl running out of nigga dick. That dick sweet. That's natural. <laughs> That's That's natural. natural curl. I thought that was Jerry Curl. I was like, he got a sweet dick. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> okay, Esther. that activator. Esther, have you? You got flavor condoms. condoms. Your mama nasty. Oh That's it. The producer of this know. show used flavor, and I love it. That's it. You suck dick from the back. See? Have you? What have else you, you doing back there? Have you did the thing with spinning your mouth? Okay, she ain't did that. She's still old school. What if you suck your dick from the back and booty hole like... state? So I got a question. Okay. Uh-huh. When you bring down. toys into the room with your husband, do your husband suck the dildo too? No. 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 What the fuck he doing with the dildo? <laughs> no. Can no, you what type of no. shit you got going on in your bedroom? Well, no, I mean, some people are into that, and but, this is a show where it, you, it's no judgment zone. So if a person is into that, no, we're then not that's judging. We ain't judging. We ain't judging. It, nowadays, Miss Pat, it's, it's people but, out there who actually be. Um, you know, women, some women like to penetrate their... Um, it's called pegging. Yeah. Pegging. You heard so, that before, Miss Pat. But doesn't a dildo, and I'm just asking because I'm curious, wouldn't a dildo intimidate your husband? I've heard men say that, but I always tell women to start off with something small and that's easy. So, like, say, for instance, we have, like, at Bedroom Candy, we got these little um, lipsticks. And it looks like a real lipstick, but when you take it, it's like a little bullet, like a little vibrator, right? But, um, so, if you had that at the bedroom, your man would not be intimidated. So, let's say you hold that on your clip while he hitting it from the back. Both of y'all feel a little vibration. He loving it. He like, oh, yeah, all right, I can deal with that little toy. And then you just move up from there. You know, so what happened that's, when you that's bring, like the introduction toy? You know, what happened when you bring Big Dick Charlie into the room? Well, if he's not with that, you just don't bring him when he's around. You just don't bring that to other the bigger toys when he's around. Don't you? Don't you fit? I would fit if I. And I, honestly, I've never used a Miss Pat. I'm gonna get you a, a little lipstick, and I just need you to put it on your clit. Just see no. what you like. I would feel like <laughs> you don't feel like God watching you. What? What? What is? <laughs> is God watching you when you were having sex, having all your babies? Yeah, I was in the graveyard. He helped the man got the money to take me to a hotel. But 
I'm just saying. I just it feels. Did so you just say you used to fuck in the graveyard? <laughs> it's free. <laughs> It's so nasty. Well, this is what I have to say. Toys are so nasty to me. That is, see, that's mentally, you just let people have said when you were growing up, getting your head. Because when we were young, a lot of people were afraid to go to the sex shop. They didn't want nobody to see them. So they'd be hiding and put their toys in the paper bag so nobody know what it is. It was like a shame uh, added to it. So this, the stigma around sex is gone out the door. That's the difference in the, what's happening now in the world and what was happening back in the day. Miss Pat like, been removing the shit. The main thing years, that though. I will need to say to you, Miss Pat, is that a majority of women have never experienced an orgasm just from penetration, right? So a lot of women had just been having sex just to be having it just for the sake of having it because they wasn't having an orgasm. Don't act like you ain't never had just be doing it just to be doing just it. That's why you be ready for him to stop because you, you ain't getting nothing out of it. But... Now, the whole point is for you, you should know your own body so you can tell your significant other what helps you get to that ah, moment. moment. You feel what I'm saying? That, ah, you know, you want that moment, that, that moment that take you to the, ooh, If that you moment. don't know what you like that, as a woman, ooh, I'm just exploring moment. as a man. You got to know what you like for off the rip. Because if you, if I come in and we're in a relationship and you're like, okay, listen, I like, first of all, if the chemistry is there, mm. you don't even have to say nothing. It's just mm-hmm. going to be there. Right. But along the way, you'll say, hey, listen, these are some of the things I like. Right. But just you and me in the bedroom, ain't no toys, ain't nothing. Forever, that's it. Ain't, ain't gonna, you ain't going to push You nothing. do toys? And get boring. My wife, yeah. She, she has toys. Mm-hmm. And it's as far as, a, I don't care about the size of a deal. I'm me. That deal, though, ain't got shit to do with me. This is just an enhancement for our relationship. Right. And it's if not even attached to, to a real body. So, you <laughs> Y'all know, like that dick is going to be here. That dick is, I can throw that dick in the trash tomorrow. No, you can't. And I can throw that dick in the trash tomorrow. I bet you she'll go get that motherfucker. Yeah, just... <laughs> 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 what? I, okay, let me tell you this. If you have. Do you, Lord, Miss Pat, I be, I be scared I can't to say stuff. But you, none are, of this shit I me, you ask. ain't that far apart. Eh? No, I'm in my forties, and you but ain't that far away. Way longer than you, mm, huh? She yeah, said she been fucking way longer than you. Probably not. Sixth grade. She probably had a baby not. in elementary school. Then <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Anyway, my point to you. Is... <laughs> well, Candy, how long that pussy been out of here? <laughs> huh? It ain't your business. I ain't even tell you what I lost my damn virginity. I ain't a comedian. Anyway. We're going to talk later. Well, anyway, what I was saying was um, the whole point about it is, it's like a lot of women, it's like you just be doing it just to be doing it. You know, mm-hmm. you be like, you never really got nothing out of it. It's because you don't really, if you if that's been happening, you need to learn your own body or, you know, kind of like test the waters to see what make you turns you on down mm. there because it ain't dead you've been treating it like it's dead it ain't dead yet because you still <laughs> living and breathing so, oh <laughs> lord <laughs> it's still working but anyway so you it's know if he ever, ever like God another way damn. another way to say it like if, it if they have it's somebody alive. have a toy and they go down on you with a vibra- uh, 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 vibrator. vibrator while they kissing on it at the same time when they, that orgasm is something else, okay? Come on, Miss Pat. It's like Catch the it. best now, of both worlds. Candy in here trying to turn your ass Ms. out. Miss Pat is not <laughs> with none of your new technology toys. She is going to sit it the way her man going to get I get it. It's an old school. My grandmother was the same way. She was in a situation where I'm, I'm fixed in what I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it ain't no ad, no new toys, and no new tricks to it. It's just what it is. And it works for them. You know what I mean? It works for Miss Pat and I uh uh-uh. uh I like nah we gotta do some shit we gotta we gotta do some shit just you with that wild shit yeah let's let's get it what mm. we doing nah. that's how you got married because he ain't gonna marry no bullshit Mm-mm. I know mm-hmm. I wouldn't I'm well, you with know, you some people are wild like that then you got women out here in the world that's like me that don't need all that extra stuff I don't need an orgasm every year every year, <laughs> <laughs> every year. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Miss Pat. Oh, Lord. Miss Pat gave me everything I knew she was going to give me today. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, we're going to take a year. caller. Let's take a caller, y'all. We need some callers. We need, I, I want a woman Pick to talk to Miss Pat. I need my, a woman to talk to Miss Pat. My friend over there on Twist Up Pat. She's like, oh, this bitch. And I done told this bitch. <laughs> Damn. Come on, baby. Pick up the goddamn phone now. Shit, you ain't doing that. <laughs> I don't need no orgasm every year. Every, not... This is a must. You come on, baby. You ain't going to pick up now. Let me know. Come on. Come on. Every month, please. 
I couldn't, but you got to think of right. her mind is locked. In. That's what she's at with. Come on, somebody, doing. somebody gonna pick up the phone now. You ain't doing nothing sitting at home on the couch. All right, uh, they don't Come on answer. With it. Get somebody else. I did. I sent two. Okay. Okay. Or she Marie unavailable. Is unavailable. Let's see who else did we who we call. Okay, oh. there we go. Somebody done clicked in. S D T. What's up, baby? Unmute. Unmute. What's up with you? Your little profile picture look like you take dick in your mouth. What's up? Candy Cody live. What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, I love y'all and Miss Pat. I motherfucking love you. I watch your show. Okay? <laughs> I motherfucking love you too. <laughs> okay. you, you, they here trying to make me nut twice a week, girl. <laughs> <laughs> love, I ain't doing I'm that shit. That shit you make me dizzy. <laughs> love. Look, I'm 27 and I'm just like you, honey. I'm good. Uh, I know, I don't, you know, you just kid. They be want me to work my click like a donut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't just be pulling okay. on that bitch. It's gonna look like a penis. Now, you 27, okay. you still supposed to be working that puss out now. Don't, don't get in here and act up. You 27? No, I'm tired. Where you from, baby? Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, so you ain't got shit going on. I understand why your pussy ain't working like that. <laughs> what? I can get it. Yeah, I mean, she from Charlotte. Ain't shit really. Charlotte. Don't do me like that. Charlotte don't do me like is nice. That. No, no, it's nice. It just ain't. You know. Okay, oh. so tell us this. Tell us this. <laughs> uh, have you ever been in a relationship where the sex drives were unma- unmatched? Yes. And you was the one <laughs> fucking it up. Can you shut your okay. rude ass up? No, no. boy, shout. Okay. Tell them about your unmatched sex um, drive. <laughs> yeah, so actually that just happened uh, with my child father. We just had our first born a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it was just because of the changes in my body, but he is older. He's 35 and I'm 27. And it's just like the sex drive just kind of went away for me. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes it just happens. I believe it was just because of the baby. But before that, honey, I was popping it. Well, I mean, in that in your situation, I definitely would say that it's because of you recently having a child. Sometimes women just be tired. So um, and this right. is another statistic that I heard that is sad, but it's a real statistic. Um, there are a lot of marriages that end up, and I don't want this to happen to you guys, that end up going into divorce because the once kids, once women have children, sometimes it becomes more about mm-hmm. the baby and, mm. you know, mm. and them being tired or them catering more to the child than catering to their significant other. Mm. So sometimes for a lot of people, it can cause problems in a relationship after having children. Mm. So with that being said, my love, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I say, you know, get you, he need to invest in a babysitter at least a couple times a week so that he can, like, get you out more and cater to you more and get your mind back in the zone to want to have sex. Wait a minute, Candy. First, right. girl, do you want more dick? Do you want more dick? <laughs> she might not want more I, dick. Man, this, would, that's a 27-year-old I mean, woman. I think... I feel like I should, but it's just right now I just don't want it, you know. But maybe it'll change. It'll change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 normal, ma'am. It's don't normal. be what up you in here. Through, You're 27. Normal. Don't be trying to match your pussy with Miss Pat Pussy. Miss Pat Pussy has been through some shit, <laughs> so she ain't got that drive that you got. You need to get your energy back up and Look start having him. sex with that man. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm <laughs> Listen to me carefully, ma'am. This is gonna help you. You're 27. You want your sex drive back? Here you go. You are welcome. Go hunch a throw okay. pillow. Go find the nearest throw pillow that's in your house and hunch that bitch. <laughs> You hunch it, you hear me? You don't you stop hunching until you get that feeling back. And when you do, you go in that room and you take care of your husband. Say, hey, baby, the 27 year old pussy is back. I, I know my 50 year old pussy. Oh, okay. Pillow. Okay. That's what <laughs> A throw pillar. Go hunt it. How niggas kill me? Go hunt it. I don't, I don't know about that, but I definitely will Go say, because I know a lot of women be tired yeah. and all that from, you She's know. Candy. Candy. But candy. But she has, candy she candy. has a one-year-old, and that is a lot. A lot of men don't understand. That's a, yeah. You know, it's a lot to keep up with the kids. They be tired. Yeah. But the and I, and it, is, it is our first one for both of us, so See, I think there. that's what it is. But Candy um, got a three I, and a six-year-old. She's still out here fucking. I am. I got a baby. I'm sure I'll get back to it. I am normally very sexually active, so I'm sure it'll come back. But Definitely. I always listen to y'all to give me tips, you know, with the menthol, with the head. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. You Make know? sure it come back before he so, substitutes your ass. As you should. How long you coochie been in a coma? How long you been how long you been dealing with this? <laughs> it's coochie. Uh, it's, 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 it's been 
It's been a whole. It's been a whole year. I mean, we've done it a year. A year. Coochie oh. coma for a year. That's coma's last year. Yeah, coma's last year. Oh jeez. I truly understand your vagina, baby. I right, you do what you do. Well, thanks <laughs> for calling, Miss Pat on your side, baby. I fly Bye. a lot, so I sit on my pussy a lot, so my pussy stay tired and smothered anyway. Mm. <laughs> Cause what the fuck is wrong, Miss Pat? <laughs> Yeah. Um, this is a saying that my um, cousin and we were having a conversation about. You know, she was dealing with some of that in her relationship. Yes, Kenyatta. She Kenyatta. What that pussy we're talking about? She has three children. Mm -hmm. Okay, three children. Married, Mm -hmm. but she be tired. She said she don't be feeling like having sex, and she said that she told her husband, "If you take something off my plate, I'll put put something on your lap." You got me fucked up. Fuck your plate. I'm gonna get another bitch. Ah, she's still fucking laugh. Oh, it wouldn't be desert. But I mean, you don't. It, even if you, she's okay. Someone else here in the building is saying, "If you Lazy tired, fuck. can't you just lay down on your side?" Well, that ain't really good either, because then. So let me yeah, ask you. I gotta like, ask you that candy, cause okay. you got the candy coat and all the dildos and butt plugs and shit for sale. So your <laughs> sex life is just boom, like. A, no, no, my sex life be boring sometimes too. You know, it be you know we get tired because we work all the time, so we be tired too. Um, so that is something that we definitely try to keep in mind. And then we have our days we definitely be trying to extra do extra little spice. You know, my husband said he want me to just start coming to the bedroom with heels on and this and that. And, you know, out of my mind, I'm like, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Nanny, nanny hey, motherfucker, want you to dress up. You better be glad I want to talk about the re- I want my relationship to stay spicy. So if he tells me these things, I want to keep these things in mind because mm. at the end of the day, just you know how. I know Damn, you ain't here with phone. your phone with the old people. Girl, all the shit you've been the doing the last you the, the, this one shit can slide. Hey, all the shit you done done now. Well, don't anyway. talk now, shit. So as I was saying, I don't want to like as I continue to mature, or whatever, start falling into that mentality that I got to be an old lady because my age says that you know I'm yes. more mature or whatever yes. like no I, I'm i gonna keep this thing be like hot. Esther be like keep, Esther still yeah. getting that meat exactly you know, I you know. wanna still be like you know I you know, I, I got a huge family like my family from Summer Hill right so I got 14 um, aunts and uncles that's how I had come on up now some of them be like oh I'm tired I don't do this and I got one that's very vibrant with his husband that's 20 years younger than her Oh, been, Aunt Nora. Yeah, I should bring Aunt Nora on this podcast one day. Because she been... No, we got to have Aunt Nora on here. Yeah, you know. Shout she, out to Aunt Nora, she getting keep, that young me. She keep her mental, like, open-minded. Like, she she like to talk about, you know... Yeah. No, I know Aunt Nora ain't still getting I would it say in. this, too. Hey, I'm, I'm leave fit- my Aunt Nora alone now. I no, I ain't talking bad about Aunt Nora. I'm just saying. Out. I would say this. I'm 51, too. I'm mean, 51. And where I come from, you just don't talk about sex. You don't. You just don't talk about you know sucking somebody from the back and skeeting in your face and yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, but I mean, I I just I've just never you know. It it, is okay, Miss Pat. Let me just say this: you are very like you. You're for you to have been wilding out in your younger years. You seem so like. Oh, I don't do that. I don't do this. Da, 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 da. It was a point in your life that you just like with the shits, apparently. Were you with the shits <laughs> in the bedroom or were you with the shits in the streets? Uh, it seemed like I you was more wild. in the streets. I mean, I was wild. Exactly. So the but older you, you oh, got, you this. fell into that mentality when, of I'm getting old. I'm getting no, away. No. I ain't got to do this. Oh, fuck well, that. I ain't got to fuck no more. Was you but, out there <laughs> freak Nick Miss Pat? I was, but I only had three sex partners in my life. Okay. Really? So, yeah. So, oh, well, shit makes sense then, Candy. Yeah. So I've never like you know, other than my first kid's father, uh, who I was spent ten years with, mm-hmm. which was very wild and all of this shit here. Then I got with my husband, who just laid back and it, it do what it do. So, but well, who was the third? Uh, just another guy. He died. That's uh, an amazing <laughs> dick record, by the way, for for a woman to have <laughs> three right. dicks. Three dicks on your record. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's that's it. That's, a, awesome. that's a brilliant record. So I mean, I'm just sex is. That not- pussy is really untaped. <laughs> Yeah, it's like untapped. It's untapped. Yeah, it's untapped. Like, like, you can't, you know what I mean? I'm so sick it's of your still thug fresh. ass. Yeah. yeah, you know. 
You look like your bitch is $20 to get on their knees. Yeah, I'm a $40 <laughs> nigga, you know. Well, listen. 60 if I'm feeling good. I yeah. know women older than you <laughs> yeah, that is wild. still getting it in, still living their best life, online dating, doing all that stuff. Uh, what should I go home and try? Start oh, with that lipstick. We're going to get Miss Pat together, yeah. Yeah, We're going to get your little fun pack. Yeah. And then we're going to come to the morning show and ask you how it went. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and you got and you got to go with the, the right mentality. You know, mm -hmm. get some little kisses, tell them kissing on your neck, kissing on your titties, then mm -hmm. go down and then with the with the little lipstick. With, you know, don't just be like, now what does this thing do? Yeah. Don't go to bed like that. Yeah, that's that. gonna fuck up. We gonna come to your that's party. That's gonna fuck you up. Mood up. <laughs> what you, you doing with that? that? Okay, yeah. get up. It's over. On, that's that's that. a wrap. Yeah. Miss Pat, look, Miss Pat ain't gonna use that shit. Okay, turn it off. Turn the goddamn. Miss Pat, Miss Pat, gonna get that shit away as 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 pardon gifts on her shit. Should I try all of them? Try it, Miss Pat. The sex fact The generalization that women peak around 32 And men at 18 mm -hmm. is true mm -hmm. Women's sex drives peak later than men Libidos are personal to each person, but it does appear that men peak at a younger age than women due to hormones. Mm. Women are, are women of childbearing age have conflicts in libido based I'm on sorry. ovulation, pregnancy, and postpartum. Mm. Young men with large amounts of testosterone are indeed peaking with their sexual desire. Mm. Ooh, here's another thing, Miss Pat. Have you heard this? A lot of women are getting testosterone shots because it, first of all, it gives them more energy. I've never heard that. More, that's the thing with everybody doing now. I've never heard that. Yeah, and it's, it's a balance. You got to balance because everybody has a little bit of testosterone, but as women get older, theirs totally completely goes away. Yeah. So you get the shots and they give, like, your hair get thicker. Your mustache, yeah. your Well, no, 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 it ain't that much of a testosterone, but it, the sex drive gets, go crazy. This is part of the show where we do the sectionaire, which is a questionnaire, but all the questions pertain to sex. Okay. We get to ask y'all. Y'all don't get to ask us. And you have to answer within five seconds or less, or we know that you're lying. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't going to ask you okay. shit, Miss Pat. Okay. Ask. No, we're going to ask. I want to know the good shit about Miss Pat, like when she got shot and all that shit. I want to know. That ain't that. You can ask her later. Okay. This is the section there question. Let's do it. I'm going to ask you later. All <laughs> right. So. All right, Miss Pat. Well, it seems as though you don't do much. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm going to start with a good question. Okay. A, a simple, you know, what's the wildest thing you've ever, who the fuck at, fuck that. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? No, you know what? I don't, yeah, I want to know that. Yeah, what's the wildest you thing ever, you've ever done? The wildest thing sexually you've ever done. Did, was you fucking and sold a nigga sack? I don't like. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and I just have a lot of sex in a car because my kid's father was married. So we could we would go to the graveyard, the park, and I remember one time we was having sex outside at Washington Park, because back in those days everybody fucked their Washington Park, and somebody walked them and said, This is all fucking bitch. And we had to get up. <laughs> what? <laughs> and one time I was having sex with him in an empty house, because he was married. He had no one to take me to. And he got there, his ex-girlfriend was up there fucking another dude. <laughs> you lying. You said, where was you at? In an empty, empty house. house. We used to find like if, I grew up in the West End. That's clear. It was a fuck house. Harris home. We in your so, trap right now. Yeah. So yeah. you were a lot of empty houses. So we would go in like empty houses and have sex. Oh. Bando booty. Bando that's booty. Bando booty. booty. That's so, sound like pregnant. you've been there before. With my first child in the empty house. That's okay. Beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. So here's another one. Um. When you do have sex, do you make a lot of noise or mm. are you quiet? Yeah, my husband tell me, we be like, shut the fuck up. He, Because I have a deep voice, and when I lay down, it sound like it may be like, clear your throat. <laughs> what does that sound like? Gym. What does that sound like? Snap into a slim gym. <laughs> 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 Snap into a slim gym. Snap into a slim gym. Snap into a slim gym. Oh, he told me no. I'll be fucking up his concentration. <laughs> that is hilarious. What's what's something that turns you on that's not sexual? Yeah. When he cut his hair or shave. Okay. Aw, so sweet. Some old nigga shit. When he shave his face. Can you shut up with that raw outfit on? This first of all, <laughs> this, this is a Marvin Gaye outfit, goddamn it. If you That's see raw. anybody else, this is Marvin Gaye. Eddie Murphy, shut up. All right, when's the last time you sucked dick, Miss Pat? 
Uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Probably. Uh, around my birthday. Oh, so you did oh, something so this year. I have sex, you guys. I'm married. <laughs> so you make it seem like it's not that often. I mean, Pat say, now, come on now. Shit, I'm fucking, you know? Yeah, just not every day. Okay, got, got it, got it, got it. All right, on, on to you. Okay. okay. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm just going off Miss Pat. Yeah, I'm just, fuck that. I will never go up against this nigga. This nigga's a heavyweight. I'm not fucking with him. <laughs> At all. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Shit. Anything. Uh, right. How did you get your wife? Okay, uh, <laughs> this is, it wasn't fun, It was, but it was wild. You're talking about just some wild shit. Okay, so uh, I'm in college and this little chick, Tamara, not going to say her last name, but Tamara was her first name. Uh, I fucked a bitch named Tamara. Where you went to school at? You didn't no, go to TSU, did you? No, no, I went to LSU. Okay. So uh, anyway, she she's... <laughs> Say what? I missed that. Jeez. You fucked a bitch named yeah, tomorrow she too? She tried to figure out me the fucking oh, time tomorrow. I, 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 I don't mean, she's probably married now and happily married. A first lady or some shit. Uh, she was known for being freaky. And I met her and I was like, uh, I ain't, I'm not as you know, experienced as I am now. So I'm like, I'm on the fence about this chick. And she would come by and visit my friend, but she would always flirt with me. And she finally she said, I'm going to get you. Straight up, straight to the point, I'm going to get you. Ooh. She shows up at my house with a trench coat on. We're in an apartment. We had some it's a common here. She has a trench coat on, and she ain't got shit under it. And I'm like, okay, I know what's going on. It's, it's about to happen, but I don't know how freaky this goddamn girl is. You're right. We into it. We do it. I think safe sex, by the way. Still mm. promoting that. And I feel a grab in my ass cheek, mm. Mm. but a but a fingertips is moving towards my crack. I'm like, oh, Ooh, she was trying to stick a finger in your you, booty hole. Where you going with this tomorrow? <laughs> She's still moving. She's still going. And I feel like a piece of the tip. <laughs> she didn't get the whole thing in. It was like the piece, about a piece of the tip. I feel it in my asshole and I lock up. <laughs> and I twist when I lock. I try to break this bitch finger. I try to twist it because you didn't ask me that. And you should have followed, followed my body language. If, I'm, if you touching a female or if a female touching you, she should be able to follow along with what's going on. You see I'm tense. <laughs> What's that the uh thing where they they got uh, the thing that locks on the fingers? What they call that? You got a Chinese, you did a Chinese finger trap on her fingertip. It was an ass <laughs> trap. I just wanted to make sure that she didn't go in. It was an ass trap. It was an ass trap. But I heard when you stick your finger in a man's booty, it make him nut longer. That's what they say. I don't know. That's what I heard. So maybe she knew I that. I ain't trying to stick my finger in no man booty hole. I, mean, I don't want nothing I up in my ass. I do a lot of things, but y'all ain't clean enough to me. I, I, don't, I don't want nothing medically in my ass. I don't want nothing up in me. I it, That ain't for me. Okay. That don't, I mean, okay. I, I ain't, I'm not nothing from nothing going up in me. That's so, okay, what about the tongue? I've had a tongue in my ass before. <laughs> <laughs> I have had a tongue in my ass. I was waiting for the nigga ass to quit. Oh, I have had a tongue in my ass. That's different. <laughs> you didn't say tongue. That's, hey, that's what do you different. and your wife do with your dildo? Her dildo. Whoa. You right. said, what do we do with it? Her dildo. Wait, what? I what? think dildos are cheap because you fuck her and then the dildo fuck her. <laughs> that's just too many dicks in one day. <laughs> that's not what? real, Miss Pat. It's not real. It's a fantasy. We create a fantasy amongst ourselves in which we enjoy. That's what makes this shit fun. People on the outside never understand what's going on, on the inside of people's relationship, mm. but it works. A dildo, no matter the size, no man should be intimidated by a toy. Yeah, no man should be intimidated. It's a toy. I agree with that. All right, so from Girl, a you scale said dicks. of one to ten, <laughs> what? go ahead. I mean, I you're not gonna be intimidated. That's your business. You sell oh, them shits. Well, yeah. Um, that's on a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest. What is your freak number? Ten. Mm. Ten. Mm. Mm. Not well, wait, wait, you know what? Let you me know, say, you I'm, comparing sex drive. I'm, I'm comparing sex drive to freak level. Hold on. Okay. Sex drive 10, freak level, I uh, would go about an 8.5. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so you <laughs> what is your somebody mouth? Whoa, that's that's a I, 20. I ain't got it in me to squat over nobody and shit in your mouth. Like, what you but doing? But you're a piss okay. on a bitch. When you, when you're, pissing. When I, you're a piss on a bitch. I piss on you, but not on dry land. We got to be in the shower. We got to be in the ocean. I ain't going to be. That's just. <laughs> not on dry land. You I'm not pissing nobody. I piss in the shower. No. I want someone. Yeah. 
in the shower. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna piss in the you, shower. You, on you. If you get in the shower with me, I'm pissing on you. Period. Because I'm pissing piss in the shower. Your white face? No, that's now that's that is rude. Now you're getting out of pocket. <laughs> what if she wanted? You spit in bitches' mouth. If you want it, then goddamn it, here comes the piss. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask her for the piss to the face, goddamn it, I'm just yourself. gonna go on a limb here and say. <laughs> This nigga should be like your drug dealing brother or something on your show. Mm. Write him in. Okay. <laughs> For real. This nigga's funny as shit. He is. And you funny than the motherfucker. And I feel like together. It's a great combination. Are you my casting nigga? I could be. <laughs> I done put some shit together before. All right. I'm a uh, fan of your show. We God ain't finish, we ain't finish asking the questions. Oh, oh you're right. Fat. I'm sorry. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest. You are three. Go ahead. What is your freak number? She's about a one, but go ahead. What is your freak number? She's a three. Go ahead. Probably seven. You bullshitting. Oh, seven? You bullshitting. Candy. Hell no. no. Candy, I don't even know why the fuck you got them got so hype about this seven. shit. Seven. You know she ain't no fucking seven. I, I was being nice when I said three. What the fuck? Yeah, I was being generous when I gave her ass to three. What the fuck? I said you a 0.5. Yes. <laughs> fuck you think I am driving Miss Mary? Somebody said me pet a negative one. I ain't bullshit. <laughs> right there, me pet. A negative one. All right. That's what you think, motherfucker. Now, now back in the day, now me pet, you were hitting. I know you were hitting. How many children you got me pet? Four kids and two abortions. Ooh. The kids and abortions. Too? abortions? Yeah. No, no, she was no, on that's point. That's real shit. Yo, I'm going to tell you point. how many I had and how many I was supposed to have. That's real ass shit. Uh, okay, what about you? I had no abortions. Not me. I can't have No, them. no, no. The ones that you, <laughs> the women that you, <laughs> how many have like you paid for? How many of you impregnated that did I not come? Okay. Quick tidbit. Uh, I had um, a vasectomy. Okay. Right, some years back, mm -hmm. and I got a, you know, I got intimate with this chick, and she was like, "Hey, a couple of weeks later, hey, I'm pregnant." <laughs> I didn't say shit. I didn't say shit. I was like, "Oh, you, you pregnant?" She was like, "Yeah." And listen, I don't want to mess up nothing. Your career's going well. I, just send me the five hundred dollars, and we'll, you know, everything be good. I said, "No, nah, go on, have it." <laughs> go on, go on, have did? it. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Go and have it. I don't want to mess anything up. No, let's go and have it. I see her at a show a year later. I was like, hey, how's the baby? She said, you're not going to believe this. Miscarriage. Yeah, you know, because you're a lying ass woman. That's why. You I, said it? Did yes, you? I told you. It was like, she was like, how you know? I said, I just know. I never, still never told her. If she's watching now, if you're watching Candy Go Nights, God damn it, you'll know how to vasect me. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Never you happened. got any kids? I got two boys. After I had my second son, I was like, I know what I want. I got two boys. I'm good to go. So I got two boys, 16 and 17. I'm good. I don't you want and no your kids. wife not going to have no kids together? No. We, we're good with that. She we better have I be no trying kids. to tell everyone to get, get clipped. Well, with. little do you know, ma'am. What? Took your advice after this last little situation here. You got clipped? I will never got... I don't want to split a hot dog with a bitch ever again. So, so you, you made an appointment? Yeah. Or you, you got clipped? No, no, no. I got... Yeah, I got... You snizzed it. You did? Oh, yeah. You know, Congratulations, you brother. I can't believe it. I, it slipped now, here's the deal. Candy, that's not good. Because some what? niggas use it as a license to just be nasty. They think they can throw raw dick. He was dick. doing that before. No, I oh, you been doing that? Yeah, oh, that, been that, nasty. That's why I needed been the fucking shit. Yeah. That's been nasty. He's okay. Been yeah, nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I ain't going to get caught in the game no more. Hey, man. You had a baby? How many yeah. babies? Yeah. Yeah. How many babies you got? So, so we're not going to speak on it. Okay. Got a couple Got a couple open cases. Oh, you guys. Bitches is after me out here, goddamn it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's time for the candy coated cash. All right, guys. So last week, um, well, this is part of the show where we are going to pick one of you callers to play a game. Stop touching shit. Oops, whatever. To play a game and to answer some of the questions. And all the questions will pertain to things that we've said during the show. Everything we done talked about now. Somebody gonna get this money. Right. So we had two people to call in last week. Neither one of them could get all the questions right. So that money rolled over into this week. So we can wear $1,000 of Candace money, rich motherfucker. Um, <laughs> oh, loving me, underscore. How are you? Hello? Unmute the shit now. M Love and underscore me lady. 954. I'm, Is that better, Miss Pat? I'm here. I'm here. I had to unmute. Okay. Doing, what city are you, hi. What city are you calling from? 
I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Ooh, Dallas, hey, Dallas, Texas. Are you ready to play for the candy coated cash? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What grade Miss Pat was in when she had her first baby? Uh, sixth grade. Sixth Whatever she said. Well, she said elementary school. Yeah, I was fucking. But she said sixth grade. She said she was fucking in sixth grade. That's right. That's right. That's right. Miss Pat, nice. She gonna let you get it. Go ahead. No, that was right. Okay. What grade was it? Six. Don't worry about it. She got it right. (laughs) 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 All right. The next one. Uh, Oh, yes. Under what condition <laughs> would someone good, be comfortable? Go, would D-Lay questions. be comfortable giving a golden shower to someone? Mm. Oh, he said, Where will I piss shower. on you? Hold on. <laughs> if, if she requested it, he said he would piss in the shower. But if she requested to be pissed on, he would do it. Okay, all right. That's that's two questions, right? You got two more questions. Ooh, she cooking. Um, okay. Pat said she could have sex with her baby's father. Oh yeah, what Miss Pat was fucking her baby daddy? Mm-hmm. She said three of them. Mm-hmm. Just name it. Oh, she one. was fucking him in an empty house. And where else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Delay, delay. Oh you got God. a question? Okay. Come on, delay. <laughs> all uh, right. Give us some delay. Um, what were one of the toys that was discussed in tonight's live? One of the toys, just one of them. Yeah, well, what's the toy that uh, I said that she should go. start with? That, yes, the candy told me uh-huh. to start. Okay, with. yeah, the one. Okay, so the first one that she should start with was the lipstick. See, that's easy. Yay! Yay! Woo, woo, and that's woo. called the candy kisses for whoever wants to go on bedroomcandy.com and get you one. Push it. <laughs> All Girl, right, you was well, listening. You have won the candy yes. code in cash. It's a thousand dollars this week. So, what is your cash app so I can pay you? Okay, hold on. Yes, it just came through. All right, got and, it. And, and is Frank getting his dick sucked from the back? Because you just won a thousand now. He definitely will be tonight. Okay. All right. Shout out to my boy Frank. <laughs> Big Frank in that bitch. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Thank you. All right, we're gonna fuck with you. All right. One time, my boy Frank getting that dick stuff on a bag. It's my Frank. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys. We had so much fun with y'all. I would like to know, um, D-Lay, can you tell the people how they can follow you? What you, what you got coming up next so they can yes. be looking out for it? All of my handles are the same. It's D-Lay, I-T-S-D-L-A-I. Uh, got a new book out as well as an audio book, D-Lay, The Journey Behind the Smile. Uh, you can find that on Amazon. Uh, if you want an autographed copy, go to my website, it's D-Lay.com. Uh, the audio book is only available on my website, a uh, couple of TV shows that I've got written up and uh, ready to go. I'm I'm starting to write my own way in things. So. That's so, true. Yep. Well, okay. shit. All right, Miss Pat, please tell all the people how they can follow <laughs> you and what you got coming up next. Uh, you can go to comedianmisspat.com. That's my uh, tour. I, I'm starting my first theater tour, September the 6th. Mm. Your girl done made it. So go to misspatcompany.com and get ticket. Third season of the Miss Pat show is out now. Um... What else? <laughs> Your book. I'm on V. I'm on V103 every morning yeah. with Big Tigger and Shamil. Also, I have a book out that's been out forever. Uh, and make sure you listen to my podcast, The Pat Down with Miss Pat. Well, we don't suck dick from the back. But I've learned <laughs> something here today. Gary, wake your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you um, for being on the show with us today. We really appreciate it. This was definitely one for the books, y'all, for yeah. the show. Anything you want to say at one? Uh, I'm in New Orleans this week. I got to do Master P birthday party. So. Ooh, yeah. oh, you mm-hmm. fancy. Oh, you're mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. rich and Come fancy. Okay, mm-hmm. well, I'll just say this this week I'm in Atlanta shooting a movie, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fancy. You know? Me and Tammy, we oh, in a shit. movie together. Tammy, wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I know she, Bro, you over there too? No, 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 no. Oh. She's uh, she's she about to wrap up because we about to start again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm in that movie we filming this week, and um, overall, I want everybody to go to Ticketmaster get these tickets to these Escape concerts that we got coming up soon. Oh, oh, damn, yeah, we do got shows coming too. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, all right. Well, I can't thank you all. so much for watching. Candy, Candy Cody. Live. We'll see you next week, man. We are gonna fuck with you. You dig? Mm-hmm. Candy Cody Live! Candy Cody Live!
Candy coated light. To me, we wanna hear from you. Is it candy coated light?